Tai Wee Han from the God of High School Anime Explained 5 Facts About Tai Wee Han Tai Wee Han is one of the three main characters of GOH. He's friendly, laid back and strong. So here's a video dedicated to the mad cow himself. Don't worry, there are no plot relevant spoilers in this video. Anyway, let's just get straight into it. Fact number 1 Tai Wee Han is your relaxed, strong-willed, friendly and loyal type of character who would do anything for his friends. He kinda reminds me of Zoro from One Piece in some ways, but he does have his differences. He is very protective of his friends. He is willing to go to extreme lengths for them, even if it means putting his own life on the line. Helping his friends is basically his main motivation. He is introduced as a 17 year old high school student and he is tall with a muscular build. He is actually taller than Mori Jin. Initially, we usually see him wear a white shirt. He's not your typical muscle head as we can see in episode 2 of the webtoon. He gets food spilled on him and provoked, but he doesn't get angry or fight them. Instead, he just smiles and says, it doesn't matter. Then it happens to him again and he still says, don't worry about it. But then they mess around with the money that's meant to help his friend. Then he gets pissed off and knocks all of them out. So if it's something involving his friends in any way, then he won't just sit there and do nothing. He would take some real action. Kinda reminds me of the Shang scene from when Luffy was a kid. Fact number 2 Dai Wee Han is introduced into the series with a power level of 9. He practices Kyokushin Karate, which translates to full contact karate. His teacher told him to kill any renewal Taekwondo user if he ever meets one. Though, when he meets Mori Jin, who's a renewal Taekwondo user, Dai Wee refuses to do as his teacher said, saying it was something between ancestors. This shows that he doesn't just blindly follow what he was taught, rather he thinks for himself about what is right and what is wrong, which is a good quality for anyone to have. Also, he's not the type of guy to attack someone from behind like a coward, rather he's a real man of honour. And he is not one to give up, he is very brave, resilient and has good endurance. Tai Wee is someone who keeps trying to the very end. Fact number 3 Tai Wee Han only has one family member, his older sister Dar Young Han. He is also introduced as having one close friend named Sang Tai Wu. Tai Wee Han and Sang Tai Wu as a duo were known as the Mad Cows, regarded as strong fighters in their local area. The two of them had all the gangs in Gangnam under their thumbs. In the past, the two of them fought and they were pretty much even, but Dai Wee came out on top. Later on, Sang Tai Wu was hospitalized with a severe illness. Tai Wee Han's groupy or sleepy eyes make him look like a lazy guy, but he's actually very hard working. He's been working two part-time jobs in order to help pay for his friend's hospital bills. We see him doing Chinese food delivery as well as working as a convenience store cashier. We even see him get paid extra for his hard work. That's two jobs done on top of his normal school day. So yeah, he's very hard working. Helping Sang Tai Wu was also the reason that we even joined the GOH tournament in the first place. Later on, he meets Mori Jin and Mira Yu. The first time he comes in contact with them is when Mori Jin and Mira are after the thief on the motorcycle. He stops the thief with an awesome punch straight to the face. After that, we see him get along with Mori Jin when they were talking about sleeping 10 hours and he is thanked by Mori Jin for helping catch the thief. Then we see the three of them go home the same way and get into an encounter with the motorcycle gang. After Mori Jin protects Mira from the explosion, Dai Wee actually points out the wound Mori received on his back from protecting her from the explosion that he was covering with his jacket. After he points that out to Mira, she responds by saying, So what? Dai Wee responds to this by simply saying, Nothing, just saying. This shows that Dai Wee is a cool guy and that he's not one to get into an argument. He just points something out and he leaves it to the person to make whatever they want to make out of it. He's not the pushy type of guy to unnecessarily cause drama or commotion over something. He's generally a very chilled and laid back type of guy. At first, he's somewhat distant. He's cool with Mori and Mira and he likes them but he doesn't regard them as friends. But later on, he accepts their friendship and becomes very close friends with them. He becomes one of the best friends they could ever hope for. Fact number 4 Dai Wei is an excellent cook. He actually cooks for Executive Q in order to convince him to do something. In case you forgot, Executive Q was the one who invited Dai Wei to the GOH competition. Due to his amazing cooking skills, it was something Bohodan benefited from. Dai Wei cooks for Q, while Q also does his part to benefit Dai Wei. Later on, when there is less interaction between Dai Wei and Q, Q goes to many top restaurants to try to substitute for the food that Dai Wei used to make for him, but he doesn't like any of them as much as he likes Dai Wei's food. Yeah, so he's a top tier chef. 
We should get a Daiwi vs Sanji cooking contest. The God of High School vs One Piece. That would be an awesome collaboration to see between the two shows. Fact number 5 Daiwi has some subtle funny moments. Just in case anyone thought he is boring and not funny at all, this is not true. He actually is funny but in a subtle way. Like in episode 8 of the webtoon during the biker gang explosion incident, Mira lost her sword and was looking for it. Mori was helping her while it seemed like Daiwi just left them and went home. Next thing you know, Daiwi is back, bringing the biker gang with him. All of them beaten up. He says that he just happened to run into them on his way home. But actually, he raided their apartment and beat them up. He makes the biker gang help find Mira's sword, which they easily find with all that help. What makes this funny is that Daiwi done all of this while maintaining a straight calm face. Oh, for those who made it to the end of the video, here's a bonus fact. The name Daiwi is a Korean word which means captain or flight lieutenant. Anyway, what do you guys think? What's your favourite fact about Daiwi Han? What are some other interesting facts that I didn't include? This is Anime Talks 101, so let's talk about it. Comment down below, I wanna know your thoughts.